I'm Jackie Now, and I'm from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Um, I'm an adult with Tourette's. I've had it my whole life. Um, I believe it started around age six. I wasn't diagnosed until I was 22. Um, my passion is working with people with disabilities and helping to make their lives better. My name is Scott Now. I'm Jackie's husband. I'm a pediatrician at Mercy Hospital in Cedar Rapids. Uh, I love to play tennis. I love to hike in national parks. I love my grandchildren and I love to garden to excess. You were the first person um, I remember as a professional and as a friend that ever said the words to me, you may have Tourette's, but it doesn't define you. And for me, that was pivotal because I had always felt like it did. I don't know that there's a right answer for this one. Jackie, what's the best part of a Tourette diagnosis? Knowing that it's not my fault. As a child, it was extremely hard to have what I have and uh, just get made fun of, get in trouble for it. Just, I feared I was crazy. So the best part of getting diagnosed was that, uh, like I said, I couldn't help it. So it was a relief for you to know that there was finally a name for everything you had been experiencing for the previous 16 years. Yes, I always knew I couldn't help it. But um, to be in a community and just be the only one I was with Tourette's everywhere I was um, growing up, it was so obscure that it just seemed like if I just tried harder, I, I, could, I could stop when, when actually the opposite is, is true. The harder you try to suppress things, the more anxious you get and the more the ticks come out. Well, this doesn't apply to you, but you could possibly um, answer towards your patients or me. What is the worst part of a tread diagnosis? <laughs> Just the social incapacity. Uh, the fact that people are just disabled. Mm -hmm. I thought just only the devil could come up with something like this. Mm -hmm. It's just such a disabling disorder. No one would want to be us. No one wants to stand out in a room in a negative way. And even when you're alone, we're alone. You don't want to be ticking because it's exhausting and it hurts and it's a waste of time and we have a lot of accidents and break things and... People only think of people who s scream out single words and uh, I, that's such a mm -hmm. minor portion of it. When people make jokes about it and I try and sometimes talk to teenagers about anti-bullying, um, it's important to know it may seem funny to say the F word for them, but it's not funny when that keeps you from going to your grandma's funeral or your sister's wedding or enjoying a movie with you know a loved one. To subject ourselves to the public every day is, is um, a risk and it takes a lot of guts and fortitude to do that. And, um, but I'm not gonna let it win. So, Scott, who's your best friend and what quality of friend do you admire? <laughs> Jackie's my best friend, and uh, the qualities I admire is uh, her incredible ability to be friends to so many different people in so many different ways. She helps people with disabilities and does things that other people would never, ever want to do. You're an advocate for, for children that are disabled, um, mm -hmm. for other Tourette's. Um, just truly the most caring person I've ever met <laughs> and has more friends than anyone I've ever known. Mm -hmm. Thanks. <laughs>